Torov of Russia. Angerica Mongolia. Torov. Orthodox fighter, Angerik, as is generally the case for Mongolian fighters, a southpaw. Round one. Through the right hand, Dezorov, and then I think it was caught by left because he got knocked off balance to his right hand side. Strong right hand on the inside there from Zorov. And these two right on top of each other at the start of the fight here. Let me go with the right hand there, Zorov. Again, looking for the jab. Very, very quick jab. Brought it back nicely. And Zorov threw his jab. Combination there. Went to the head. Gloves stopped those and then went down to the body. And that punch scored. Missing with the one two there, Jorov, and enter it just going for a little walk. He's looking for the third or fourth punch of that combination to get through there, Enzorik. He knows he's going to hit gloves, probably with the first couple, but then he went to the body with the right hand and then came back up with the left and almost snakes it through the guard. There's an interesting fight this. It's Technical, tactical stuff. They're both just trying to see if they can find those gaps, work those openings. Right hand there from Zorov. Reached. Angerich just came off that left hand a bit to the body. Hence him taking a little bit of a stagger step to his right. One two there from from Zorov. The, the right hand got through, I think. Combination from Engzerich. Looking down to the body. Right hand again there from Zorov. He's just coming off slightly the better at this this close range. He's not really looking for combinations, not as much as Engzerich is. He's looking for he's looking for the one two single shot sometimes. Right hand to the body there, he brings it back nice and quick. Just a little fake with the front foot. Engzerich is looking to put his punches together a little bit more, throw more combinations. Right hand there again from Zorov. And in this battle of close quarters, it's the Russian at the minute who's coming off slightly better. That guard works well for him and then goes to the body again there. Final few seconds. Right to the body. Good jab. From Enzerich. Well, good stuff, kind of engrossing stuff, really. The range at which they chose to they chose to conduct affairs in that opening round. There, they're right on top of each other, really. Just enough space to be able to look into each other's eyes, to be honest. And Zorov has taken it 10-9 on on all of the cards. So I just wonder whether Enzerich might look for something a little bit different in the in the second round. That left hand did get through, but those three, four punch combinations, he's defended them pretty well generally. Led off with a right hand there, followed it with a left, a kind of reverse one two from from Zhorov, and it and it worked. And there's a combination, and, and the fourth punch of that combination did find the body, but to throw that, he has to stay in there quite long, no matter how quick his his hands are. Round two. Well, we're back to exactly where we were in the first round. Looking for the jab there, one, two from Enzerich. And again, just using those nice quick hands, but again, the guard was in place there for Zhorov. He's looking busier in the second round so far, Enzerich. Zhorov trying to step in, but Enzerich just took a half step back there and stayed out of the way.
looking for the right hand to the body, but I think Enzerich managed to manage to block that. Good work there from Zoroff, managed to just spin, slipped underneath his, his opponent's punch and then just pivots around that front foot. Neither one of them is looking to back off at all. They're working around those front feet. They want to stay close. They fancy their chances here. They both fancy their chances up close of making their opponent miss and then making them pay. And if they make them miss, they want to be close enough to make them pay. Left hand to the body. You don't see that many fights at this kind of range. Either you've got one fighter who's shorter than the other one and they're looking to get on the inside and the other one's looking to try and keep it on the outside. Or sometimes, and I saw a brilliant one uh, a couple of a couple of days ago. Yesterday, in fact, a light heavyweight, you have two fighters who just lean on each other. The Salgado of Gibran and Ljasevic of, of Serbia. And they have it right up close. But this is just... Just slightly further out than that where they're looking to read each other and react to each other. Right to the body there from Zhurov. And there, Zhorov just allowed the left hand to slip over the shoulder, span around the front foot through the right hand, didn't quite land. It's been a tight around this one. The first round was pretty easy to score, this one has been more difficult. Three punches there from Enzerik, but they're all on the gloves, all on the forearms. Nice left on the inside there, though, from the Mongolian. But the vast majority of what he's thrown in that second round at the fighter in blue is still... It's landed on the gloves, it's landed on gloves, it's landed on forearms. And that looks good. But they're not scoring punches. Well, split scores there, and crucially, three of them go, go Zhorov's way, so he... He's in a good position now. He's got a two-point lead on three cards, and he just needs to keep that, and he'll he'll win the fight. He needed to get one more of them there. Engzerich, if it was 3-2 in his favour, then he would have had a chance of turning three cards that were level his way, which would have given him the fight. But as it is, he needs both of those level cards, and he's got to try and overturn a, a two-point deficit, and that's extremely difficult. <laughs> Third round. So into the third. Zhorov in a good position here, the Russian fighter. He's in red. Engdrick and Mongolia in blue. Body there from Zhorov. Andrik scores a good left of the body himself. Uppercut caught on the gloves. The defense of, of Zhorov has been really tight. Left hand gets through there from Andrik, but in general, the Russian has, has done a great job because he's taken a lot on the gloves. And Andrik has found it difficult to find him to the body as well. Right to the body, scored there, I think, from Enzerik. He just, he just tapped upstairs and then went down. Right to the body from Zhorov. Definitely got there. And the difference between the two of them really has been that Enzerik is in the most... has thrown more, but mostly hit gloves. Zhorov has been a bit more sparing with the amount of punches that he's thrown, but he's found the target more often. Hey! 
Good up cut there from Enteric. And a left to the body as well. Decent spell that for him. Just over a minute remaining. Right hand there from Jorov. The right landed though from Enteric as well. the uppercut there into it but it, it didn't quite get through and it's probably quite a frustrating experience this for him because he's thrown plenty he's let his hands go but really very little of it has has counted in the in the eyes of the judges at ringside because they're looking for for scoring punches punches delivered landed with the knuckle part of the glove on the torso on the front of the head that's what that's what they're sitting there looking out for and I'd say at least 80 percent of what he's thrown the Mongolian has has not made it to the target he's just not been able to find the gaps a touch of gloves between the two and that will be a win for for Evgeny Jorov whichever way that final round has gone because if things where it gets it he's going to get it 10-9 there's not going to be any 10-8s and Jorov was two points up on three cards so he will be through to the final where he'll be up against Muzaffarov. So it'll be Uzbekistan against Russia. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this bout in the ring speed by unanimous decision from the red corner, Yevgeny Zorov. So Zorov gets it. We knew that it was very much in his favour heading into that final round. And 29-28 right across the board there. So those two cards that he was leading, 20 points to 18, he'll have lost them, but the... Those three cards that he was leading 20 points to 18, he'll have lost them. But the other two that were level, he'll have, he'll have won. So there you go. 